بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ ہیلو ٹو ایوری ون ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلور اے کیو وچ از ان دا نیشنل شو کیو سینٹر فار ویلس دا نیم آف دا کیو از اے بٹ ڈیفیکلٹ ٹو پروناؤنس ایز اٹس ان ویلچ سو دا نیم از ٹین ایئر آگ آف دا ریور لین فیل ایمرجز فرام دا ماؤنٹین ایز یو اپروچ دا اینٹرنس ٹو ڈین ایئر آگ آف دس از سچ اے بیوٹیفل ویو The river looks so beautiful and the sound of the river, it's so soothing. So just to let you know, this cave has been voted Britain's finest natural wonder and the winner of all major environmental and tourism awards. There are also two more exceptional caves, that is Cathedral Cave and the Bone Cave in the premises of National Show Cave Center for Wales. So let's begin our tour. So in Daniel Ogof, uh, this cave, you walk through beautifully decorated passageways for just under one kilometer. This place is dog friendly and you can take your dogs along. But uh, keep in mind that push chairs cannot be taken inside because uh, there are some steps and it gets steep sometimes. So you cannot take push chairs along. So just make sure you are prepared for this. One more thing to keep in mind is that temperature inside the caves is 10 degrees centigrade and it will be cold. So be prepared for that as well. Daniel Ogof at the National Show Cave Center is a 17 kilometer long cave system. They have beautifully designed this cave and uh, they have made passages inside it and there is lighting and uh, some natural uh, waterfalls inside it and beautiful structures, natural structures that you can see. In the book of Allah, the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, in Surah Ar-Rad, verse 17, He sends down water from the sky and the valleys flow according to their respective capacity. Then the flood water carries the scum raised to the surface. This water was very cold and it was so good to feel. Water was dripping from one of the rocks and I could feel that too. Now let's have a look at this one. This was really amazing. These icicle shaped rocks hanging from the ceiling, they are called speleothems. As water runs through the ground, it collects naturally occurring minerals like calcium carbonate from the soil. Then as the water drips down into the caves, through cracks in the ground, it leaves those minerals behind in crystal deposits that form speleothems. The speleothems grow over time as the water drips down from the cave ceiling. Once speleothems stop growing, their smooth, wet-looking surface turns dull as the speleothems become dirty and eroded. Speleothems often form annual growth rings similar to those found in trees and these may be deposited over hundreds or even thousands of years. Because the amount of water making its way into the caves determines the amount speleothems grow, their layers can indicate times of both heavy precipitation and drought in the area. Caves are used for exploration and recreation but at the same time they are very important for collecting Uh, geological and archaeological data. Archaeologists find evidence of human activity stretching back literally to the start of humanity and many of Britain's most important archaeological sites are caves. Biologists have identified many species that are only found in caves and underground waters. So these were some facts about caves. Now let me tell you some fun and interesting facts about this cave. Daniel Ogof, the cave that we are visiting right now, and the Cathedral Cave and the Bone Cave, these caves are still owned and run by descendants of the original family that discovered these caves in 1912. Isn't that interesting? During the Second World War, this cave was used to store ammunition and art treasures. Two armed guards were permanently stationed at the entrance to the cave. During this time, the water from the cave was diverted into pipes to Swansea. And this cave water helped to put out the fires caused by a heavy aerial bombing. The great men who discovered these caves are called Morgan Brothers. Tommy and Jeff Morgan made this dramatic discovery in 1912. 
Tommy and Jeff Morgan had only candles to light their way. A small boat to cross the lakes they encountered. Rope to help with the dangerous climbs they undertook. But of course, no map to help guide them. Today, we can enjoy this natural wonder without any of the difficulties they experienced over 100 years ago. In 1963, a relatively inexperienced caver, Aileen Davies, made a significant breakthrough in the exploration of Daniel Ogov, this cave. She conquered the long crawl. And this led to the discovery of an incredible cave system with over 16 kilometer of explored passageways. And there is still a lot more to discover in this amazing cave. Would you like to be one of the explorers? Exploring caves is a very daunting task. It requires a lot of stamina, skills and courage to accomplish. And the most important thing, you should not be claustrophobic as the passages inside the caves, they become really, really narrow. Now we will see a beautiful formation which was discovered by the Morgan brothers during their adventures and that's called Alabaster Pillar. Inside the cave, you get so mesmerized by the beautiful natural structures that are formed over thousands of years. People think that throwing a coin here and wishing for something makes their wish come true. But I think that Allah does not need coins for making our wishes come true. We just need to be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for him to listen and accept our prayers. When we see water in the cave, we feel contented that we are not totally trapped in the cave and there is a way out. This passageway that has been made as an attraction in the show cave is very safe and fun and can be done easily. You will not feel uh, suffocated or claustrophobic at any time. Now we will watch a documentary about a fantastic six hour journey to get to the very end of the cave. This is just a part of the full documentary. Full documentary can be purchased on site. This is really useful and interesting video for those who want to visit the cave, who want to explore the cave and uh, go for a six hour long journey into the uh, caves. And that is called the long crawl. When the caving adventure begins, you immediately have to overcome the lakes of the underground rivers. Water is deep to be waded and sometimes you have to swim. The cascades should be carefully climbed. Then the river is left behind and then dry passages which are hundreds and thousands of years old have to be climbed. And they get steadily smaller. Starting at a pool, the long crawl begins. This is one hour away from the show caves. This is a 50 meter long twisting tube that challenges body and minds. I feel this is the hardest part. After going through this long twisting tube, it is a relief to climb down a ladder. This will bring you to a much more spacious passage. Then the river is rejoined. Stone is black and shiny, polished by rushing water. You have to move through chambers and canyons. You will look at different formations, candle wax columns. After this, you will find a 50 meter long waterway. Buoyancy aids are kept in the cave for help. Then comes the vertical climbs. Ropes are needed to pass this area. Then you have to go down the rope and reach a lake. You will also find this floor that is carpeted with pink and white crystals. You will be exploring much more on your adventure. After six hours, you get to the end of the most glorious cave of the Britain. And the struggle does not end here. You will have to go back through the same route to return to the show cave. If you are interested in doing this, you can visit www.dyo.org.uk. This website has complete guidance for those who wish to explore these caves beyond the show caves. And don't worry, a caver who is familiar with the cave will accompany you. So this is the end of episode 5 and we will be visiting 
uh, bone cave and cathedral cave in the next episodes thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed allah hafiz